It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. This is the city where you and I were born. However, the city you and I have known for years is changing, changing unchecked, unnoticed, unopposed, unexpectedly and unwillingly perhaps, changing overnight. The playgrounds, the little corners by the avenues, the banyan trees we had known, the courtyard where you and I used to play a somewhat middle version of cricket and baseball, the quiet afternoons, Gola, Rehmat Chacha, Pani Puri Wala. None exists today. The city is transforming in a way we have never known before. Did I allow my simple joys and dreams to pass by? You decided to be a part of this change. Yes, I did decide to be a part of this change. And yes, I find success exciting. Success in building, in creating, in constructing, in, well, I was making my dreams come true. Then why I am not feeling great? Is this what happens when you become successful? Doubts and accusations become a way of life. As Raj becomes more and more successful, a number of other aspects of his life begin to go unnoticed, unattended, perhaps unaware. Maybe Raj has unknowingly and unconsciously drifted away from the intrinsic wholesomeness of life. Hello. Ankit expected you at parents' meet today. I'm so sorry, honey. Hello? Hello? Could you tell this to Ankit when you meet him? Oh. Raj! I have been moving without knowing what am I doing. Have I allowed my joys, my dreams to pass by and be engulfed in making money? Have I? Was I unconscious about the change I embraced? Brilliant. True. But have you decided about the plot number 39? Uh, which? Which one are you talking about? Oh, that is great. You don't even remember your best investments. Oh, come on, Ayaz. You are my advisor. You should remember things much better than me. Tell me. And you are the supreme commander of our company. Eh? Uh, oh, that plot. Where we intend to build a complex. What's happening there now? Nothing. A barren land. Deserted. Wasted. At a loss. And what else? Oh, it's getting completely covered with uh, shrubs and trees. The worst part is that the kids are creating a menace. They are giggling and laughing and, uh, you know...
they have made it a place for playing hide and seek. Play around, enjoy, have fun. Mr. Gokhale, could you stop talking nonsense? It has been a total wastage of money and time. And now, we need to get to the business. What do we do with the plot left here? Here it is. Well, and we cannot afford to wait any longer. It's in the center. And too many buyers. Too much at stake. We cannot afford to lose this. It is the prime location. And uh, we need to capitalize on this uh, right away. Immediately. Raj? What's up? Tell me. Ankit is upset. Park by the road is gone. They are planning some construction for office premises. Raj, what are you doing? Just the way someone is robbing your son of his childhood. Don't you think you are robbing other children of their natural rights? Where are they going to get connected to their roots? Nature. This is not the way. You grew up. The kids who have livened and owned this place with the shrieks and peals of laughter can't come in today. The trees and plants appear to resonate to the helplessness and misery of their little friends. The children wondered, Hey, why so much attention? What's the fuss? We can't go in on our own plot. Why? Why? Thank you so much for gathering here this morning. It's a very special day in my life because I'm going to be laying the foundation of one of my biggest projects. I'm recalling how as a child I always wanted this to happen. I see Ma, myself, my lost friends. This place I thought to create a grand complex, a complete state of the art. But where will these children go? How will they grow to be balanced whole people if we are not creating nurturing environment for them? With no place to play, they will be deprived of creative natural insights. 
Interestingly, in the cycle of life, this will impact their decisions and mindsets as adults. And thus I dedicate this wonderful plot of land to this great city as a place where they will get plenty, plenty of fresh air to breathe in. A plot of land that will remain for the old, for the young, for the children to breathe in fresh in the middle of the city. A place that will give a quiet for a minute to listen to the whispers of the nature, to talk to the trees and feel close indeed to the nature. A place that will help us to reclaim the child within, nurture our creative spirit. Welcome to the oasis of wholesomeness. Are you out of your mind? On the contrary, I'm in my own self for the first time. I don't have to be swept away by a mindless change. I can be my master and co-creator of the world I want. Ayaz, there is nothing wrong in making money. Nothing wrong in constructing big buildings. But it's time we think a little beyond. Raj feels at complete peace. The trees, the greenery welcoming him, whispering in his ears. The wild flowers smiling at him. The air, the blue sky above him. The little children playing around, all welcoming him to a world of eternal happiness, which probably no money can buy. He finds the boundaries shifting from limited self to include others in the journey of life. He is now seeing the possibilities to create ripples of joy for others. He is beginning to feel connected with his pure, unbounded center of love and seva. He muses, maybe we need this kind of balanced approach to ensure that organizations, companies, countries, cities thrive with joy and happiness. Welcome home to your true self, Raj. <laughs>